Hi, I'm Pastor Sherry, and this is Faith Support. Regret. Said something we wish we could take back. Posted something we wish we could take down. Met someone, went somewhere, bought something. Regret. We've all been there where we wish we could undo what we've done. Well, Peter had to take a good look at himself. And John tells us that Peter made the bold declaration that he would lay down his life for Jesus. And though Jesus tried to warn him that he would actually deny him three times, Peter passionately denied that he would ever do such a thing. Unfortunately, a few hours later, after Jesus was arrested and brought to the home of the high priest, Peter was pointed out as being a follower of Jesus and then in the same passionate way, denied that he was in any way connected to Jesus. After he heard the cock crow, Luke tells us that Peter remembered the warning of Jesus and he left that place to weep passionately. You know, I remember one time I was trying to get insurance. I wanted to find the best price, so I started calling company after company looking for the best price. I kept getting a higher quote every time that they would hear that there were four drivers in the house that I was staying at. I was living with my parents, so it was my parents, my spouse, and I. Four drivers. After one call, I decided wanted to know what the quote would be like if it were just my husband and I. I reasoned that technically we were only a two-driver home since both my parents had their own vehicles and my husband and I were staying in their basement. Didn't that make us technically two separate families? So I called back the last company that I had gotten a quote from and the person answered the phone. I said, hello, like to get a car insurance quote and though I thought the voice sounded familiar I just shrugged it off that is until the person said to me um didn't you call here a few minutes ago oh, immediately my heart started beating fast <laughs> my mind started racing as I had to decide what to do do I say yes do I hang up <sighs> Though I hate lying, and though I always try my best to be honest and truthful, I squeezed out the lie and said, No, no, no wasn't me. When she asked a second and a third time, if I hadn't been looking for a quote a few minutes ago, I convinced myself that, well, my desire to get the quote was worth the tiny lie. And so I told her no all three times. Well... I got the quote, which wasn't that much different from the original, and I hung up the phone. And then the guilt set in. I was so frustrated with myself. Why didn't I just tell the truth? Why didn't I just admit? Admit the truth. Yes, I had been the person. Why didn't I just tell her what I was trying to accomplish? How could I falter so easily? Was all my honesty a pretense? After about 30 minutes of going round and round and round and round in my head, I decided, you know what? Let me just call back the company. And so I did. Of course, the same person answered the phone. Sheepishly, I said to her, Hi, um, a few minutes ago, I called for a quote. You asked me if it was me. I told you no, I was lying. It was me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Ah, <sighs> I think after that, I wept bitterly. <laughs> The beauty about Peter's story, though, isn't his broken heart or even his sincere confession as important as those are. The beauty of Peter's story is Jesus' reaction to Peter's regret. I think that instead of me telling you, I'm just going to read what happened so you can hear it for yourself. Here is what Mark 16 from verse 1 says. Now, when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, bought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they said among themselves, who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? 
But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had already been rolled away for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe sitting on the right side and they were alarmed. And he said to them, do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he's going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him as he has said to you. Though the women were there first, early in the morning, the first person that Jesus left a message for by name was Peter. Go tell his disciples and Peter to meet him in Galilee. Friends, your actions do not turn God away from you. They turn his loving attention to you. Your reasons for regret are his reasons to reach out. Whatever you have done, no matter how bad you think it is, it is the reason that you need Jesus. It's the reason he's calling you by name. He knows that this is a time that you feel the worst and you need him the most. So sure, weep bitterly. Sure, confess your sin and your guilt, but do so knowing this. Jesus' arms, they're wide open. Jesus' heart is for you and never against you. Jesus' love is calling you by name to come and meet him. Don't leave him hanging. He is waiting on you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I know, God, that there are some, there are some people, someone, there is someone right now listening to this message. And there, there are tears running down their face because they have experienced extreme regret at something that they have done and they, they feel that they can't come to you, oh God. I pray that they will take courage from Peter's experience with you. When Peter did his worst, you called him by name and restored him into friendship. Oh God, I pray that whomever is experiencing regret right now, that they would know that you love them. They would know that you are calling them. They would know that you know them by name, that you belong, they belong to you. Thank you, God, for not holding our messes against us. Thank you for not letting the, the things that we do separate us from you. Thank you for being a God who hears, a God who cares. I pray that each person hearing this prayer will come to you with their deepest regrets, knowing that in you is freedom. I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you, friends.